Ryan Newman has had an up and down career. He was good in his first years from around 2002 to 2005. After that, he wasn't that good until about 2009. He then started to fall off again after 2014 and had only one good statistical season since that time. And after 2021, he's no longer racing in NASCAR. This photo was taken when Clint Boyd had his worst statistical season ever. In 2015, the team he was with, Michael Walter Racing, was shutting down. It was later announced that Clint Boyd would replace Tony Stewart after he retired in 2016. However, Clint Boyd would have to find a team to race for in 2016. He eventually ended up at H. Scott Motorsports. Unfortunately, he only had three top tens and finished 27th place in the point standing. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has a podcast called Dale Jr. Download that he does every week. This podcast features current NASCAR drivers, former NASCAR drivers, or people within the sport of NASCAR. The full video of the podcast can be found on YouTube. Jeffrey Earnhardt has been driving part-time for multiple teams in the NASCAR Xfinity Series this year. He was even able to drive for Richard Childress in the number 3 car, and of course, the legendary Dale Earnhardt drove the number 3 car for most of his career. Joey Logano finished in 4th place in the All-Star Race last weekend. To many, including me, the race was pretty uneventful. The race even ended up having a controversial finish. Joey Logano's next race is the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte Motor Speedway tomorrow. The race starts at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and will be broadcasted on Fox. Kyle Busch finished in 21st place in the All-Star Race last weekend. Kyle was leading when his car suffered a flat tire, and then Ross Chastain plowed into Kyle's car and collected Chase Elliott as well. Kyle Busch's next race is the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte Motor Speedway tomorrow. William Byron raced in the NASCAR Xfinity Series race and the All-Star Race last weekend. He finished in 2nd place in the Xfinity race and 11th place in the All-Star Race. Hopefully he'll do well in the Coca-Cola 600 tomorrow. A.G. Allmendinger is leading the point stains for the 2022 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. He has 12 top 10s and 6 top 5s in the first 12 races. He has also had 1 win so far in this season. His next race is today at Charlotte Speedway. Matt Kenseth was recently inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame. He has 39 career wins in the NASCAR Cup Series, including winning the Coca-Cola 600 2000 as a rookie and winning two Daytona 500s. He also won the 2003 NASCAR Cup Series Championship. He is very worthy of being in the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Denny Hamlin is co-owner of the NASCAR Team 2311 Racing. He recently said that he won't make any further investments into the team until NASCAR changes their business model. Tell me your thoughts about any of these cards down in the comments section below.